Okay, so I've got a little fun video for you. Remember last week, I think it was last week, Tuesday, I made some aromatherapy Play-Doh with Tegan and Jessica. So this is uh, the Play-Doh that we made last week. And as you can see, it's still nice and soft and it still smells of peppermint. So we've kept this in an airtight container. So that's why we can still use it. So I thought, and this is something that I love to do in the classroom with the children, is when we're getting a little bit bored or tired of doing the sandpaper letters and the sandpaper numbers and learning our shapes, what I do is I bring some Play-Doh to school and I let the children make the shapes and make the numbers and the letters using the Play-Doh. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't remember the video, please go back and watch it. It was last week's video on how to make aromatherapy Play-Doh. And it's a really easy recipe. And as you can see, it's lasted. I mean, it's now a week and two days and we've been playing with it nearly every day. So I'm going to show you what to do. So first of all, you just take a little bit off. And I know my class knows this very well. And then you've got to roll. Can you see I'm rolling, 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 rolling. And we've got to make a long snake. So what shape are we going to make first? I'm going to do a, I think we're going to do a triangle. Let's do a triangle. So we roll out our snake. Mine broke just now, so that's why I'm re-rolling it. So let's think a triangle has three sides, a bottom and a roof. Okay, so we're going to make these match to the top. And there, I don't know if you can see it, I've made a triangle. Okay, so then I'm going to do another shape. Let's see. Let's see, let's do a circle. That's an easy one. We've done a circle. I know you can't see, but I'll take a picture of it and put it at the end of the video. So we've made a circle. Okay, so let's do letters. Let's do letters. So I'm going to do a T for my name. T for Taryn. So I'm going to need two pieces of Play-Doh. Okay, and I'm going to roll it again into a snake. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And I'm going to bend my t, just like it would. And then I'm going to put on the rest of the t, on the top. And there I've made a t for Taryn. And you can do that with all the letters, all the numbers, all the shapes. And then if you don't want to do that and you just want to build something fun, you can. You can make a snowman, you can do hearts, what else? You can make a nice scary dragon or a slithering snake or a cute little pig with little pink ears. You can do whatever you want. But the Play-Doh is so much fun to learn your letters, numbers and shapes. So I hope you enjoy this and have fun with it. I'll also attach the Play-Doh recipe as well to the end of the video so that you can see it again. All right, love you guys, and I will see you hopefully very soon.